Hey, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Anyway, I wanted to revisit the TTGO T display board based on some of the comments. I wanted to make a more concise video that didn't have a musical soundtrack in the background. And so, as I was looking at the information about the TTGO TT display, got one right here in my hand. I could see that there was already updates to the program itself. The T display INO was released 17 days ago and there's a new firmware. So in this episode, we're going to flash the firmware according to these instructions here. This there's no text with these instructions, just a screenshot. So I searched for ESP32 download tool. Here's a primer on using the ESP32 download tool. And this is available from Espressif.com. You'll see it right here. Of course, look for all the links down below in the description of this video. So I've already downloaded the flash tool here. There it is. Let's download the firmware. Okay. So it's just right there in. D temp, so I'm going to just leave it right there. So I've never done this before, so let's see how it works. I'm going to go ahead and hook up the TTGO T display board on my little stand here. It's lit up now. Let's see if I can zoom in on this here a little bit. Hey, right. looks like we can. I don't know if I can keep that in focus or not, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, that looks all right. So there's our TTGO T display board plugged in. Let's just check from a hardware perspective. Okay, so we got the Silicon Labs CP210 on COM6. So in case I need to adjust the COM port in the tool. So it opens this up. I don't know if you use developer mode or factory mode. Now I'm gonna use the ESP32 tool because that's what was shown in the picture. So now I'm going to browse to that D temp. There's the binary file. And let's review this picture here again. This just says it should be zero in here. And at 80 megahertz DIO 32, crystal frequency is 40. So 40, 80, DIO 32. Okay, coming back to that. This gets set to zero. Let's see, there's no crystal speed listed here. Hmm. Do we have the right, I'm gonna put this next to this, SPI download. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead, and it's on COM6. I'm gonna hit start and see what happens. It says it's finished. Okay. Well, this picture looks like that picture. I'm going to go ahead and reset. Okay, it still works. Lit back up with the TTGO logo there. So that's encouraging. This is cool. We get our various MAC addresses, Bluetooth, Ethernet. That's very cool. Okay. So now there's actually instructions on the screen of the TTGO display after that firmware update. Once it goes through flashing the logo and going through the colors a couple times, it comes to this screen here, left button Wi-Fi scan, right button voltage monitor, and right button long press is deep sleep. That's pretty cool. That's how you can update your firmware on the TTGO T display board. All right. Okay, now that we've updated the firmware, next time we'll be updating all of the software, including the INO file, and both of the libraries have been updated recently. The TFT ESPI library has been updated recently, and the Button 2 library has been updated recently as well. So we're going to have to update all of that in the Arduino IDE. And then we can resume working with the TTGO display board. Of course, all the links are down below in the description of this video. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you very much.
Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.